when you focus on the breath, you're giving yourself a home. Because the mind's been wandering through who knows how many lifetimes. That's what the word samsara means, means wandering. It's not so much a place, it's an activity. We create worlds and then we move into them, and then when they fall apart we create another one, move into that. In the process there's a lot of suffering, not only for ourselves but also for others. So it's a gift to people to learn how to stop doing this. I don't know how many times you hear the, the idea that, well, if you're just getting yourself out of samsara and you're not taking everybody else with you, you're being selfish. But it's not, small, it's not that samsara is a place, it's an activity, and it's an activity we're all engaged in. And the best way to put an end to the suffering of that activity is to stop participating. That way you make other people suffer less and at the same time they get a good example. They can see, oh, it is possible to stop this. So you want to settle in right here. For the time being, you make this your home. And then watch the mind to see how it starts wandering out to create more worlds to wander into. And see if you can keep it in check. This way you're learning how to get at least some control over the process. So it's not just hopping from train to train to train, ending up in Prince Albert. You have an idea of where you really want to go and what really is worthwhile. Okay, then you go. Otherwise, you stay right here. This way there comes some rhyme and reason. Otherwise, the Buddha said, the process of samsara is like throwing a stick up in the air. Sometimes it lands on this end, sometimes it lands on that end, sometimes it has splat in the middle. And even though it all depends on your karma, karma is very complex and things get all mixed up in your karmic storehouse there. So here it is time to settle down and sort things out. If the mind needs to wander, okay, make sure that it wanders for a good reason. Back in World War II they used to put little signs on trains when people would be traveling here and there, and the sign always said, is this trip necessary? They wanted people to cut back on the waste that goes into traveling around a lot. Or you can put that little sign next to every little thought that comes up in your mind, is this trip necessary? And that way you find you cut down on a lot of the stress and a lot of unnecessary suffering, both for yourself and for others. So settle into your home and leave home only when you really have to. That's one of your best gifts to the world.